Alright, so here we are in Georgetown, so my favorite part of this park just because it's a uh, representation of the Old West. Uh, they do a good job of uh, decorations, so they could all camp life with wagon wheel shops um, and the general look and feel of a Old West town. So I'll do a quick walkthrough to show uh, some of the features and uh, stuff that's going on. Um, I'll circle my way back to Ghost Town as I pass by it, but I generally kind of wanted to see what's going on. So we have Ghost Town or Ghost Rider over here to the left, uh, passing by the Gold Trails Hotel, which they have with the um, 100th anniversary decorations. We have a uh, laundry store, silver dollar store, blacksmith. So one of those reasons for why it's one of my favorite areas. They have a shooting range, uh, good flower decorations, uh, stable up ahead, a dress shop, drugstore, so they go very well as far as making you feel like you are in an actual ghost town. Then they also do things like the general store, so very detailed as far as making you feel like you're in a old ghost town area. And they even go as far as the um, music, so um, very much uh, area that I like and it's very enjoyable. Even though, even if you don't go on any of the roller coasters and, and just walk around the area, you feel like you're um, ghost town. And of course, up ahead you have the Undertaker. You have a theater, town hall, a wagon over here on the left. Um, I want to say at some point, and actually, yep, up ahead on the left, if we go that way, we end up going to Palco Rover Rapids and the Coney Express ride. I'm going to skip that for now, just to, um, just because that goes towards the back of the park. I am going to head towards the saloon to check that out and then make my way to the board walk, the board walk. And of course, in the distance up ahead, you see the... Uh, log ride, so zoom in there, you do see uh, Supreme Screen. On the left, you see the uh, Sky Cabin and the top of uh, Hang Time. So, while everything is pretty straightforward um, in the park, you can't see from one into another. It is pretty cool, and I'm gonna make a quick stop here in the cemetery since I am here. Uh, watching a few videos online, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to the Five Flyers YouTube channel, so this is what I think the first to see there. So we do have a graveyard as far as um, uh, pretty uh, usual things that are pretty cool. Uh, but the one that's a special note for um, Halloween Hawk, from my understanding, is our, our crossing the railroad strike typhoon. And you should be able to see at the bottom, it says end of the line. So a uh, pretty simple and straightforward um, graveyard and if memory serves um, one of these um, um, grave, or graves has a little bump as if the heartbeat is um, like a, the feeling of the heartbeat as if the person still alive and it doesn't seem like it's working at the moment so I am going to move on to some of the other stuff, but I mean, as you can see, they go all out as far as uh, what's going on. Um, and it does look like we do have someone stuck in the jail, so I'm going to take a quick peek there. So we do have the Lucky Cuss mine engine. Um, so you do have a mine operator. I don't know if you can see him, so let's do a quick zoom, but you do see there is a guy hanging out in there. So, uh, moving on to the rest of the area. So hopefully right around one of these corners is the, um, um, saloon. And I'm gonna stop here for a second, check out what this is. Uh, it looks like a trick room. So you have a tall person stand on the right and a short person stand on the left, so kind of get a 